Hey, you wonderful, beautiful people. Welcome back to a new video. This is my van, Sophie, and I've been living in her for two years and three months now. And we are reviewing my van build and seeing what I love and what I would like to change. First of all, this is a requested video, so thank you so much for this request. I hope it'll shine some light on how I'm enjoying van life. So this is Sophie, my 2010 Sprint van, and because we are stationed at, at the moment, staying in one spot, she has this thing on the windshield which is like um, for to keep snow off or to keep it from freezing, but it also holds the sun away, so it prevents the front from heating, which overall prevents heating in the van. So one of the things that really works, I just don't really like the look of it, is this screen, <laughs> the bug screen. It works very well and it has magnets. I just don't like the look of it. I like it when it's open, but I can't. Through summer and everything, I can't. I have to have, keep the mosquitoes out. So I have this screen, I got it from Amazon, I think. It's really big, it's really wide, and it works really well. Then the other thing that works really well is this little dog thing that I have. It's a rolled up doggy gate or a kitty gate, but it works very well and keeps the dogs in, which is amazing. Another thing I have at the entrance are these. Now, these are awesome. This is like little storage. So I put my, um, this is for just stuff, dog leashes and grocery bags. And here are some slippers and another grocery bag and stuff, just stuff. There's also a little cabinet for my shoes. And I love this little storage that I made here on the side of the kitchen. It works very well and just put stuff in there. <laughs> and you just Sometimes you just need a little spot for some stuff that's in there. So two major things that I love about the van are my solar setup. I don't really remember how much solar power I have. I will look it up and I will write it down here. I have two solar panels on the roof and they go to a battery. I think it's a 200 amp battery. They go in there and then they charge everything in the, in the van. Now the only thing I would like to get in the future, which I cannot have now, is a blow dryer for my hair. But that's the only thing. Uh, everything I have I can charge here. So I have my drone, which I'm charging at the moment over there. I can charge my phones. I can charge my laptop. I can charge. I have a. Um, uh, uh, what is that called? A cut. Is that a. Uh, I have a dog grooming cutter thing. It looks like I don't remember the word. Anyway, I have that and I can use that. I have a little vacuum cleaner that I can use and the power doesn't run out. Only in winter time, if I stay in the Netherlands in winter time, like November, December, January, then the sun is not out that much and often also it's um, foggy, then it doesn't work. So then I have to charge the battery from somewhere. But if I just travel, it's just awesome. It never go runs low. It works perfect. And I kind of never check it, only if it's been like forecast for a couple of days and I haven't been driving a lot because it also charges with the Ellison alternator. But if I've been driving a lot, I sometimes check to see if it's not getting too low. But overall, it's doing great. I've been having it for two years and three months now. And knock on wood, it's been... <coughs> Bilu thinks something's coming. Knock on wood, it's been doing great. I'm really excited about that. It's still working well, but I'm also a little bit scared it's going to break down. But it's doing great. I love it. Now, what I kind of forgot to say with the electricity being powered. I also have my Max Air Fan, which is in summer, it's on basically all the time. I have a fridge, which is also on, and I have a diesel heater. So in winter time, I need the power to start up the diesel heater. So yeah. sometimes it doesn't really work. I have to plug in the van into the electricity to charge it. What's really awesome about my electrical setup is that if I go to a campsite, I don't have to buy any electricity with it. So I just need a place to park I would like to have a shower sometimes and um, I need a place to uh, empty my gray water and sometimes get some water. But basically we can be off grid 
for a long time. That's really awesome. Now, because I live in my van with three little pups, Wolfie, Pooh, and Bobby, it's very important that I can keep the heat out. Now, keeping the warmth in was also important for me, but I have coats for them and they have their fur, so that's not that bad, but keeping the heat out. We live in this van full time, so um, this is our house. So I need to leave them in the van sometimes if I'm working and I need to go somewhere that I can bring them because usually they come to work with me. Or if I, I don't know, if I have an appointment or something and I can't bring them along, they need to stay in the van. And in the Netherlands, up to like 27 degrees, I can keep them in the van pretty okay. The van is insulated super good. <laughs> the ceiling is insulated very well. The Everything's just very well insulated. But it depends on the, the um, temperature of the air outside. Because I can circulate air into the van a lot. I can have a lot of air circulated in the van. But as soon as the air outside goes up, so if the temperature outside is too hot, because when it's 27 degrees, usually inside the van it stays about 22, 23 degrees. So that's perfect. And also we have a dog house, which is connected to the uh, garage area, which keeps even cooler. So if it's, I have a humidity meter. So if it's like maybe 24 degrees up here, down there, it might be 19 degrees. So that's awesome. So how I circulate the air is through a little bunk window over there and I have my mixed air fan but recently I got something new that I'm going to show you now I got these and these are very awesome they are um just what is that called? I don't know what that's called in English but this is just a part of aluminium with uh it's like a vent I think and it has some maze on the end to keep the mosquitoes out and I have them over there as well so those in combination with this hole here there's a big hole here and then the window over there circulates all the air through the van. So the van gets a lot of clean air, fresh air, which is very important for us, which keeps the temperature down. And those, having those, because I used to have my windows just open a little bit, but once it would start raining, I would have to run outside and close it up because the rain would just pour in. <laughs> it didn't work. With these, I can keep the windows open with this in it, and it should also prevent from break-ins. But it's very secure. I only have those in there when, st when we're stationed somewhere, when we're just standing there not moving because you cannot drive with those in. Plus, I think it would be super noisy as well. But yeah, one of the most wonderful things in this van is having the very well insulation from Armorflex and then having the cross brace from the <laughs> those from all sides into the Max Airfan. Another thing in my van that I really love is that I have dimmable puck lights and um oh this is kind of gross actually it got dirty i have to clean that wait that just shows you how much i use it but the thing is it's in a holder on the wall and i never take it out so i had noticed that it's clean now anyway um what what i have is i have uh puck lights that i can turn on and off but they are also in two sections so i have this is hard showing you guys i have <laughs> There's a cleaning brush. Wait, a dishwashing brush. I have four puck lights over here. And then I have two puck lights in the bed area. I'm going to try and video this. And I, I, they are in two different... Um, I, can, I can turn them on and off. With, and I can dim them in one area that I want. So for instance, when this is super, um, look how beautiful they dim. You just spin this wheel, it's awesome. But for instance, when I use this, I dim them every night when we go to sleep. But a thing that I've discovered, which is very cool, is I turn these off and I'm into bed and then I dim the lights a little bit. And then all the mosquitoes in the night go over there and then I, I whack them, <laughs> I catch them. And then I can have a nice sleep because even though I have like mosquito stuff everywhere, it's not flawless. Mosquitoes get in, that just happens. It just happens, I accept it. It's just not that many mosquitoes, but I accept it. Anyway, <laughs> 
but I really love my puck lights. I highly, highly recommend getting dimmable puck lights. It's just nice. If you need bright light, you can have bright light. And if you want more ambient light, you can have that. Then there's my kitchen. My wonderful, beautiful kitchen. It's stacked up there because I just like to shove stuff in. Whenever I'm stationed somewhere, I just shove it in the holes. If I if I have something, I just shove it in there. And then when I start traveling again, I take everything out, clean it out, make sure I just bring stuff that I need. But for now, I just shove everything in there. <laughs> but I really like those baskets. There's also a, a, a storage unit about storage stuff behind there, but I don't really reach that. It's like for winter clothing, winter blankets, stuff like that. But I love my kitchen. It functions super well. I love how it looks. I love that it's open. I especially love these. These. I think the look of this is really cool. This is secured with uh, Velcro and it stays on very well. But I can take it off if I want to. And I have like my morning medication. Just some um, cotton balls. Then what is this? Oh, doggy treats stuff it's just in here feminine products like uh what are these called for your q-tip for your ear just stuff is in there tea bags but just everything's in there and i love it that it's just so organized and it's so beautiful i love the way that looks this is one of my favorite parts of my van i think i love all the branches that i have now these i hardly ever use these i kind of use these for storage now <laughs> there's just some stuff in here but i love these because this is the mug that i made with my former dog on it who's no longer with us but i love this is a little memorabilia for her and i just i love how this looks and these work very well until the van goes out of a car park thingy which goes like that if the van moves like diagonal they tip over but then still they don't move anywhere they just stay there because they can't if they tip over they cannot fall out oh they could no they can't see they cannot fall out so they will always stay on here they will just bang a little bit but that's only when you go <laughs> that's only when you go diagonal otherwise works very well now in here under here i uh, got these little bags which are just secured with some how did i do that i don't remember how did i oh i sewed them together and when i travel these hold my fruits or veggies and same here fruits and veggies but when i'm stationed i just chuck stuff in there and then <laughs> this is just like doggy treats and a big shell that i have and some of the gas and some for your hair just stuff <laughs> just stuff but I added these and I really like them. They're very cute and they're very handy to just keep stuff when you drive. I'm just realizing I say the word stuff a lot, but it's just, <laughs> sometimes you just have stuff to put somewhere. Uh, oh, what else is very helping is <laughs> the other thing that's working very well is my doghouse. And I'm going to show you, I told Wolfie to clean up her room, but she didn't, but I will show you her room. I will get the headlight out so you can have a better look. But my doghouse, it takes up a lot of space for storage in the garage area, but they love it and it keeps cool and they're hanging in there a lot. They're hanging out in there a lot and um, all three of them can fit and sleep and they just love their little doghouse and all their toys and stuff is in there and I love it. <laughs> Wolfie, go show you. Oh yeah, Wolfie likes to steal my stuff. So as you can see, <laughs> she took my clothing. Wolfie likes to drag my shoes in here, my clothing. This is, the, this is so messy, but this is the entrance. Now, Wolfie's just turned one, and this is still from when she was a little bit younger. She likes to bite stuff sometimes. Yeah, this is Wolfie showing us her little house. Go show your little house. Go in there. Go to show your little <laughs> She's like, what's the, what's the magic password? What's the magic? Yeah, what's the magic password? Otherwise, you can't go in. It is abracadabra. It is... Do you want a cookie? Yeah? Do you want a cookie? Okay, that's the magic, that's the magic password. Let's go get it. Are you in the house? Oh, I'm turning off the light. Are you in the house? Good job. Good job, baby. Are you showing the treat? We're going to bite the treat. Good girl. Good job. Go have a treat. In your house. You can see how big it is. 
<laughs> She's all the way in the back. This is a big house for her. Now the dog house is, really, is rather big for them. All three of them fit in there and it's pretty big because um, I made it for Durak. And Durak was a little bit bigger dog. She likes dog house like that. But Durak's no longer with us and so now all three of them can fit in there, can fit in there very easily. And uh, yeah, it's really awesome. So overall, I love my van. And if anything doesn't work, I change it. So a couple of things that I've already altered were, for instance, I made a little bedside table, which is really beautiful. I love the look of that and it works very well. I got these baskets added, so I have more storage. Um, the drawer of the fridge would open, so I installed a little lock, so that's a lock now. Uh, what else? toilet bucket wasn't really working kept spilling over just didn't really fit well I got a new one uh, for instance this is one of the things that I did lately I installed this little um, can you see it it's like mosquito mesh yeah oh yeah because oh it's not focusing on it it's weird and it's just a piece of wire then I just put in the hole where the window normally goes in and now it's more secure. So if I close the vent, it doesn't, the air pressure doesn't put it out, doesn't push it out. So now I can have my window open at night as well. Now there's still a tiny little gaps, so, but that's just, that's just van life. Mosquitoes just sometimes find a way to get in. But <laughs> I made this recently and I'm very happy about it. But there are also a couple of major things that I really need to tackle before we start driving again. But I just don't want to think about it because it's going to be like a lot of work to fix it. But let's get into those. So what are things about my van that I would change in the future? I won't say that won't work or like van built mistakes because are they a mistake? I can alter it and then it's just fixed. Okay, so part one, or the first thing I want to talk about that I would like to change in the future maybe is the bed. My bed is awesome. It's very comfortable. It's very nice. It's very wide. Like, um, the width is, is big, but the dogs are always snugging up to, like, snuggling up to me. So, like, that part of the bed is hardly used. Now, I wouldn't make it smaller because I do use the storage area that's under it, and I like that it's really big, so... I would keep it this way, but even though I altered the bed's length, it's still a little bit short. And I have gotten used to sleeping in it, so I just stick my foot out like over there, and then I stick my other foot over there when I'm <laughs> laying on my belly. And otherwise I just sleep a little bit more diagonal. But it's it's actually, if I would ever do a new van build or change up this van build, I would like to make a shelf that slides out over here. And then I would have like a, like some sort of fold over mattress thingy so I could have my legs just stick out over this side. But I never did that because I really like that I have all the space here, but in the future if I would alter the bed, but that would mean I would have like a bed which is like 180 by 2 meters big, that's like so big, <laughs> but I would do that, I would make the bed longer in the future, but I'm not doing that now, but that's a thing that I'm still a little bit more annoyed by is the fact that the bed is kind of too short. I'm only 1 meter and 67 centimeters high, so like I'm not that big, but uh yeah, just I just like to put my arms up here. Well, that makes me a lot bigger and then I want to point my toes and stuff So it's a little bit too short Then another thing which is probably easily fixable But I just have to look into it is that I have a little slide out table, which I love You cannot push on it because then probably everything will break But I don't care just when I'm with kids in the van I need to keep reminding them like don't push the table and I don't pull it below Don't push the table and I don't pull it out that far so that you know it's it's more sturdy but I made like a, a aluminium rail and then I put some felt in there to keep it slide smoothly on one side a little bit of the felt came off so if you put it back it kind of bumps into that and then you have to adjust it and then you can put it further in so that's the thing I need to change and also the aluminium and the wood together the sliding gets some sort of gray substance I don't know it's like I will show you and it's on the table, so there's like a little bit of gray, 
like I don't know what it is, but it's just gray stuff that's on the t gets on the table. So if you sit down and you touch the table with your clothing, it goes onto your clothing. So I sometimes get gray streaks on my clothing from the table. So what I do now is I clean the table regularly, but I should change that so that it doesn't get dirty anymore. So it doesn't transfer to your clothing. But let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're diving deep. We're diving deep. Here's the slide out table. This is what this is the furnace it can go out. And as you can see by the dust, I hardly ever do that. I usually just keep it like this. But under the table, you get like this greasy stuff. Here's a it's very bad over here. And this transfers onto your clothing. Oh, and this transfers onto your clothing and just gets your clothing very dirty, which we don't like. Now I imagine that this side is probably even worse. Yeah, I hardly ever sit here. So this gets onto your clothing and I don't know what it is, but it's not good. So what I would like to do about that is take it all apart, but that means taking the bed out and all that. So it's just a hassle. I don't think it's a lot of work. And what I would do is uh, either put in another rail, like a, like a drawer rail or something, because you have table rails for this. But if I do that, I might need to adjust the width and I would need to cut into it and then I would need to paint it again. But I could do that. or. I just go look why it's happening and maybe instead of just a little bit of felt, felt, put more felt in there so that it would not do that anymore. I don't really know why that's happening, but it's happening. So, and at first I didn't really realize it. So I just have smudges on my clothing and I'd be like, what is that? But now I know it. So I clean it often, except for that side. That was really bad. And now let me show you when I close it up, what happens, but I just adjust it and then it closes. So because there's a little bit of felt missing over there, if I push it back, oh, it just went smoothly. Now, when I want to show you, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Problem solved. I wanted to show you the problem. Maybe it's because I'm down. Maybe I should stand up, but it's not doing the problem at the moment. It's just, it's not all the time. It just happens every now and then, but I'm like, no, I want to show you guys. Let's try again. Okay. So this is the table out. No, <laughs> it's not doing it. Okay. So that problem solved itself for now. So <laughs> just leave it at that. Okay. Another problem. A really big problem that I don't want to look into because I just don't want to, but I'm going to have to, but I've just been looking away for a long time, which is creating damage actually, but I'm just like, it's not happening. It's, <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening, but it is. And it's creating damage. So I need to fix this this season. Just don't want to is the following. So I made this beautiful door. What I love about this door. What I love about this door is that the wall color just keeps going. Now, when this is off in the winter time, that looks really cool. So that's the same color as the kitchen. That looks super cool. I love that. This is a wood put on here and then painted. This is awesome. But the issue is here. As you can see, there's white on there. So let's open the door again and let me show you what is happening. This is actually a major issue which is happening, which is the following. This wood is only attached over here and then to the sides, but it is not attached in the middle. So it is not attached in the in the, oh, it's hard to show you so it is not attached in this middle part so there's air behind there because there's no metal to attach it to if I would do that it will come through here which we don't want to happen um, so what it does is that it kind of bends inward 
inwards so this is going okay and then the further it goes the tighter it gets to the to the car see and then what happens is that it gently rubs onto the van what is happening on this side is that it is gradually grading off the paint which this is of course gonna be a huge pain in the butt in the future and it's also doing it here now my sweet little van has a shit ton of rust everywhere which we tackle every time every year maybe twice a year we tackle these things this is actually not looking good but but this is a problem I need to fix so the plan that we have is replace this door because this door has also been damaged here but my dad fixed it it's actually doing pretty good he fixed this last year but rust is coming back there's rust everywhere so we are thinking of replacing this door and maybe putting a window in uh, no having a door with a window in it which would mean that if the door is closed this is all going to be window and then the only part that would be well, not all of it, but there's going to be a big window. And so I was trying to explain it, but it's hard holding the camera, opening the door. Anyway, what I would do if I would just have a door with a window in it, I would have more light, which is nice. And then I would have like a little strip that I would just like, what is that stretch felt? Put stretch felt over there, I'm flexing stretch felt, and then it wouldn't be that bad. If I would do that now, if I would take the wood off, the armor flex that's under there isn't looking pretty. It's just put on there works i would have to take that off get new armor flex make it look pretty and tight then put stretch felt over it but that would mean that i would have this enormous gray wall or a blue wall because stretch felt doesn't come in beautiful greens <laughs> so then i would have like blue maybe pink maybe black gray i don't like that so i would have this huge gray area here which is the area that i look at when i'm sitting here so because i love the way it looks now, I haven't been doing anything about it, but I should. But I just, I'm not, I haven't been long, I haven't been back long. So if I have a little budget in a while, we might go and look into having maybe another door. Now, the biggest reason of not having a door there with a window is heat and cold. So the heat will come in sooner and the cold will come out. So it looks nice. It's going to be cool, you know, to look at. And I can just sit in the van in rainy days and look out through the rainy window, which is going to be all cute. But for the dogs, adding another window, I also have windows in the back. But I basically always have the curtains down to keep the heat out. So having another window that I'm going to have to patch up in summertime to keep the heat out, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. But I'm thinking for being inside of the van, it would be nice to have a window there instead of mess. Instead of this gray stuff that I have to look at. So that's one of the things that I really need to get, get fixed working on. Because I've been noticing this for a while. Now another thing that we could do is create some sort of way that this wood doesn't bend out like that. So it touches the door but it bends out like that. So we can have some sort of pulling motion the other way. But I think that's too difficult. So I, uh, I, just, I just don't want to look into it. It's so much work. Anyway, <laughs> that's the thing I really need to change. So another thing that is an issue and which also really aggravated my anxiety is the fact that the drawers open sometimes in the van which has also altered my way of driving so i kind of drive on certain roads when i have to uh when i'm like with my van is standing like this and i need to take off i do it very gently otherwise like there's a horse in the back in the trailer because otherwise the drawers open up which isn't the bad thing because then you just hear boom jing, boom but then when you forget about it and you you break somewhere they close up again that's what scares you because then you hear a lot of noise in the back now that was my first point that it just makes a lot of noise but recently let me show you it actually damaged some stuff when I was in Portugal this door opened like bang oh I can't even open because there's cookies in there now bang it opened up and then this went like this 
Pachow! And as you can see, and then it closed up again. Kachow! And now we're getting this situation. And that's not good. I need to paint this again, but that's not too bad. I'll do that. But this is not a good thing. It's actually damaging the drawers. And it's going to bend stuff. It's just going to break. So this is such a messy drawer, but I love it. There's so much stuff in there. So what I need to do, because they have very powerful magnets. So overall, it, wor it works very well. This drawer is no problem. This doesn't go anywhere. This drawer isn't the problem. This drawer is the problem, and this drawer is sometimes the problem. Because it's not that heavy, so it's doing pretty good. But sometimes it's a problem. So if I'm going to find a solution, it'll be for those two. Now, the thing here as well is I love the look of this. I don't want to add anything on here. And it wouldn't make any sense to add anything like this. Or So um, I'm looking for some sort of magnetic thing. Because <laughs> I don't want to put a strap here because that'll look ugly. I just want something that you cannot see from this side that I just have to use like a little magnet like bloop, and then something will open. But I sit here a lot and I open this drawer a lot. So if it will be something that makes it harder every time I use it, that's going to be inconvenient. So I just need to look into this and find a solution. It's probably out there. I just need to find it. And then what I can do is I can lock it into these sides. So if you are watching this and you're like, I know the exact solution for this, please let me know. I'll order it and I'll install it. But I want to have something that hooks like into there with something over here. And then, and I can uh, take out these drawers so I could access it attaching it. Anyway. That's a pain in the butt. It has been since the beginning. I just have ignored this problem and I need to get it fixed. Another thing that I love the look of. I'm just keeping it this way until I really can't stand it anymore. But I love my tabletop. It is beautiful. It is cute. It ties everything together. It's just gorgeous. The colors match the ceiling. Um, it just matches everything. But it gets damaged so bad, so fast. And I've only had this in here for two years and three months. And I've been, well, I've had it in here for a little bit longer. But I've been living in here for two years and three months. And let me show you the state it is in. So here's a lot of scratching. Lot of scr There's actually dents in here because sometimes stuff falls out of here. And then it just dents. In here, as you can see, this is just getting gray. And here, sometimes water sits here because of the rain or whatever. This is getting so super gray. So I have to look in if I can like oil this or something to make it look better again. Because it looks so terrible at the moment. But overall, if you just look overall, it still looks nice. <laughs> but like, like, like... It's not looking good. Like, it looks... It's getting worse. And I just want it to be good. But this tabletop is so beautiful in this kitchen. Like, I love this. I don't want to change that. Another thing that's on my list to get adjusted, which is not a problem at the moment, but it was when I got back from the Netherlands, from my trip to the Netherlands, is that the Max Airfan was leaking. Now we kind of patched it up. But... I would like to, before I leave for my new trip, I would like to take the Max Airfan off, get a, what's it called? A adapter, I think. And then just clean everything up, treat the rust because water got under there. So there's a little bit of rust there too. Clean it all off, treat the rust, and then put the adapter on. So it will just be a little bit of kit adhesive stuff. And then that will be awesome. But for now, it's not a problem because my dad patched it up with some stuff and it's looking good. But I don't think it'll hold for a long time. Now, there's two things that I don't have that I would like to add. There's probably more if I... Oh, there's probably more if I really, really think about it. But in this van build, I don't think I will be able to add it. Maybe if Bobby one day really gets old, I might. But what I would really like to add uh, is a um, doggy walking plank. 
that ramp? I think it's a ramp. I wanted it to be in the floor so I can pull it out, put it down, and then they can go in. This looks terrible at the moment, but I just... <laughs> this is because it was getting muddy here. Mud came into the van. But I wanted to have like a little ramp that you can pull out, pull down, and then they can go in. And I never did that, and I won't be able to do that now because... Well, maybe, but I'm not even going to look into that because the flooring is on there and stuff. But in the future, I would like to do something like that. It may be another van build or somewhere. I would like to have a little ramp come out for the dogs. And another thing that I might add is I love taking an outdoor shower. I have the Decathlon Kesha shower, which works brilliantly. I love it so much. But I'm staying here at the moment, and I'm staying here all summer, and there's a bike path here, there's people walking over there, there's always people around, so I shower in my bikini. But I would really like to shower in between these doors and have a shower curtain. Now that shouldn't be that hard to get done. <laughs> Let me just open all this up. Ooh. It shouldn't really be this hard because I think I can just get a shower curtain rail which you can put like um, that you can just like stretch out. I don't know what that's called. This is my <laughs> this angle. This angle of the bus doesn't really look that nice of the van. But look, this is just my storage. This is just all the stuff I cram. This is my stroller. All the stuff I just cramp in there. But this works very well as well. But what I would like is to have like a shower curtain here. That I can just put in like a rail and just put it out. And then I can just shower here in privacy. Like have a more convenient shower. Because I don't really shower outside now. I just use the shower inside. But I that feels like I'm, I'm protruding. What's the word? So yeah, I would really like to have like a shower curtain. Which isn't that hard to add. So I might probably, probably I will add it very soon. <laughs> I just don't know. But uh, yeah, those are the things about the van that come to mind when talking about these subjects and um, yeah there are some major issues that I need to fix also there's a lot of rust in the van I don't think that has anything to do with the van belt but it is something that we trick we tackle every year and when I make my fortune sometime someday I would like to have her have all the rust tackled and then spray her like some beautiful light green color or have her wrapped or anything but just I would have like to have a professional look at it because I think that a side of the wheel, that a side of the of the wheel barrel, the wheel thing needs to be welded, and it's just she has a lot of rust in her. But she's awesome. I love her. She's my she's my awesome uh, she's my awesome van, and I I wouldn't have it any other way. I've been living in her for two years and three months now, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's one of the best decisions I've made in my life ever. I absolutely love this lifestyle. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas on the topics that I've been talking about, if you have any solutions, please let me know because I'm researching and um, I'll fix it sometime. I just I don't want to be fixing stuff at the moment, but I'll do it sometime. But if you have any solutions, please let me know because it could be very helpful. And um, yeah, let me know if you like this video. If you have another video idea, because this was actually asked this was a, a requested video if you have another idea that i could do a, a video about please let me know i would love to do it for you and uh, yeah we're just gonna enjoy the sunshine and in the next video which is gonna be really cool we're going tomorrow i am taking my two uh kids that i work with uh, so i'm a nanny here i'm taking the two youngest kids which are four and six years old on a trip to Gus's property in the Veluwe. Gus is my friend and we are going to spend one, maybe two nights in the woods in my van. So we're going to stay with three people, one, uh, one adult and two kids, and three little dogs in the van, in the woods. And I'm going to take you guys along. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, which is going to be a blast. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures.